Hey guys and welcome back to Space Flight Simulator with All in Two, and we are launching a Falcon Heavy here. Let's just listen to this Falcon Heavy is going to be minus fifteen. Stand by for terminal count. And nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. We have it the Falcon Heavy safely launched off the pad, but the center core hasn't activated its engine yet. There we go. Uh, I did that so that the center core has more fuel than the left and right booster so that it could fly longer than both of the boosters because in space flight you can't really just throttle down one engine like you know, Kerbal Space Program. So here we are. I kind of took a page from uh, Marcus House because he did this exact same thing in Kerbal Space Program. So he used the SpaceX countdown during the actual Falcon Heavy and he used a bit that I'm going to tell you about later because as soon as we land the boosters, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but here we are. Just approaching our gravity turn as we are now at 3,000 meters, no 2,000, nearly 3,000 meters right now. But as you know, my gravity turns consist of going up to 4,000 meters, then turning 45 degrees so that you could have a pretty good uh, apoapsis. But here we are, performing our gravity turn. So if you didn't notice, I have the white text in front of the video. That's just to make people less confused about what rocket I'm using, what engines it had in real life, um, the parts of the rocket, etc., the payload, but it's just really to make things less complicated as it's rocket science. <laughs> so here we are, nearing a gravity turn, just changing to make our apopsis more downrange. But we are now about to ditch the first and second boosters. There they go. And the center core is now launching into space. The left booster performing its boost backburn with the right booster just turning around to begin performing its boost backburn. As you can tell, I did not record this all in one save. I had to do the launch, reload, land the left booster, reload, launch land the right booster so the right booster took made it was easier to land than the left booster because the left booster was kind of my first attempt at landing a booster <laughs> from a falcon heavy so here we are the right booster beginning its boost backburn while the main center core has been uh ditched and the second stage will begin to light up its engines but here we are, the second stage beginning its burn to raise its up periapsis to higher than 50 kilometers. While 50 or 30, I'm not, I'm not sure anymore in this game. But the left booster is beginning to fall through the atmosphere, letting the atmosphere slow it down with some engine power too. While the right booster is just beginning its descent. But I managed to edit it so that they look like they landed together, so... Except the land wasn't at all correct, but hey, the powers of editing. <laughs> so, the second stage just unfolded its fairing, unveiling the Tesla Roadster, which was designed by Cheesy Flakes. I took his design, so I miss you, buddy. <laughs> uh, honestly, he's kind of disappeared. So, here's the core booster beginning. To slow down before it enters the atmosphere so it won't get ripped to shreds. But not really though because it's a space flight simulator. But the main boot, the second stage is nearly approaching its low earth orbit. Not its low earth, or low earth orbit. Just speeding up so that its periapsis can get higher. And the left booster and the right booster are beginning their final burns. As you can see, the left booster is way lower than the right booster, so 
you might be surprised at how I managed to land them together. But here is the left booster. You can see that it's land. You can see the land before the right boosters land. So just to make it more interesting to watch the landings, I'm gonna leave you guys with the Kerbal Space Academy, which again is a page from Marcus House's video, and they had the craziest reaction when they were there watching the boosters land. It was epic. No, 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 I see him though, dude, I yeah, see him. Yeah, baby, all right! You've got to be kidding me, man. Yeah, just went behind that bit. We're about to hit the long cloud. Yeah, the long cloud. Gotcha, I see it. Yeah, I got him. They're there, y'all. Oh, they're right there. Yeah! Dude, they're so they're close. They're right there. Yeah, baby, look You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What? Stick it! Stick to landing you! Wow! Double shot it baby! There we have it. Both boosters have safely landed on the ground as we now switch over to the core booster as it begins its landing. However, in the actual uh, launch, it did not manage to perform its landing. It missed the drone ship by about 100 meters. They, uh, Elon Musk later tweeted that it was because of a lack of liquid oxygen. No, it was, yeah, liquid oxygen. No, I, I don't know. It was a lack of fuel, so it didn't, it, it didn't perform its final burn. But, no, we don't have that problem as we have more than enough fuel. I managed to land these rockets with more than enough fuel because I sometimes freak out. But here we are, the rocket's just at 500 meters at this moment. And it's going really quickly. So I kind of panic and begin to do a series of burns. I cannot do a suicide burn. But here we are. It's beginning its final burn. And it hovered a bit and jumped up. But you can see that it's going to land very safely because I decided to put this into the video. Uh, as Elon Musk later said in the debriefing uh, that the core booster was not recovered because if it was, they would have shown it. <laughs> but the video did eventually surface. But here we are switching over to the second stage as it begins its burn to raise its apoapsis above uh, Mars's orbit, which actually happened. Uh, the Tesla Roadster is now just floating in space. Its highest point is in between the between Mars and Jupiter, right near the asteroid belt, as I would say. I'm surprised it was it probably will be destroyed in the future, but it will come back eventually. And its lowest point being at Earth. That's why it said it. It will come back eventually. Oh, the second stage was still attached to it. So I just put a docking port there just to make it look like it was able to be removed. As you can see, I am I use mods for my gaming, but I don't need them as of the moment. But here we are. Just enjoy these pretty shots of the Tesla roads are just floating out in space as the final moments of the video is here so hope you guys like subscribe share this video with your friends and family I just had a quick check if I was recording that because I had multiple failures when I was recording this video but anyways guys I'll see you in the next video